Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back for the second show today. Well, actually, it's tomorrow. It's already after midnight where I am, but we're going to get you another show. Uh, so however you want to consider that. But um, it's we got tomorrow's main event. We did we did the undercard. Now we're going to do the Eric Bazanian fight with Billy Godoy. Um, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, I don't gamble here. Uh, like I said, we use DraftKings. Can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Can't even gamble online in Texas. Uh, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, please follow us, like, subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. And please join our Patreon. Our Patreon will give you the lock of the week. You get a free T-shirt. It's just $5 a month. There's a ton of other perks. Please check that out at patreon.com. All right, let's get into uh, today's big show. Eric Brzezian is, is the Eye of the Tiger promotions guy um, from out of Canada. He's originally from Armenia, I believe. 31-0, 22 knockouts. Big, strong guy. I would say a really poor man's David Benavidez type of fighter. He's a bull in there. He's strong as an ox. Uh, he's basically, you know, he's one, two, uh, but he's coming after you. Like, he's coming after you. He can, he's got some skills on the inside. He's not as quick as Benavidez, but he's still probably a little quicker than you think he might be. You know, um, he, he, he's not fast. Okay, if he's not as slow as you might think he is either, he doesn't move well like 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 Benavidez. He doesn't move his head much. He's fairly easy to hit, but he's a big, strong dude. He throws these one twos. He's clean. He's got power. He chops away. He throws a good volume too for for a big guy. He's just a bull. He's a hoss in there. And he can wear you down. He can break you down. And he's also got one punch power. The guy can hit for sure. I, I think his power is actually more indicative than, than his 66% KO ratio suggests. He's good in there. He's just not – he doesn't have the power to track you down. He's not super aggressive in there. Uh, he's not winging away. He's pretty controlled. He's pretty calm. It, not, it doesn't look like he's in there looking for the knockout. Um, he, he, like I said, he's got decent value, but he, but he's chopping away, chopping away. He can switch southpaw. I wouldn't recommend him doing it. He did it um, in his, in his not his last fight, which was Ronald Ellis, which he looked superb in. But the fight before that, he fought uh, a tough uh, Jose De Jesus Messias, and uh, that was not his best outing. He ends up, you know, rolling to the decision. He's got to win over Alantis Fox. He's not a bad fighter. Um, you know, he doesn't. You know, he's not a mover. But he's got pop. His pop will keep you off him, right? Like, you don't want to just walk in on his pop. Um, you know, he rips body shots on the inside. What he doesn't have is a real good uppercut on the inside. That's something he needs to work on. I need to split the guard because he's on the inside a lot. He can bully his way in, or he, he, can, he can box from the outside. And when I can say box from the outside, basically he's just throwing shots, and you don't want to walk in on him. I mean, if, you, if you're a slick guy you can and you can move him, you can get inside, you can have him. But that's not what we're looking at. I, I think tomorrow's main event will be pretty good matchmaking uh, with, with Billy Godoy. Billy Godoy is is a guy that's been in tough. He's been in with John Ryder. He's thirty seven years old. He's got a record of forty one. Yeah, forty one and seven, twenty knockouts. He hasn't fought a lot a lot of good competition lately. The last. Guy he fought was, was Vincenzo Gualtieri, uh, who went on to win a world title. Gualtieri had a field day with him, dominated him. I think he dropped him. I don't remember if it was ruled a knockdown. I might have. I think he dropped him. Right, he did. I'm not making that up. He dropped him. He's got other losses too. He just he got stopped by Jose Aviles. That was in uh, 19. Uh, Walter C Cotton Dakwa. Remember Walton Cotton Cotton Dakwa fought. Uh, Boy, my brain doesn't work anymore. Uh, Boo Boo Andre, he's got a record of eighteen and two. Uh, we remember the, the the Andre fight that was back in twenty eighteen. It wasn't great, and he went on and fight Kanat Islam too, and 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 got 
handles by him. Uh, this That guy stopped Godoy, and that was six years ago. So you can imagine five, six years ago what he has left in the tank now. He's also, you know, he got stopped by John Ryder. That was nine years ago. Yeah, I mean, like I said, he's old. He's past it. Um, you can see he, he was a back foot guy. He's not a puncher. He's not a volume guy. He's selective with his shots. He's just a jabber. He doesn't, you know, he's an in and out guy. He jab his way in, throw and get out. He, now, now there's not so much in that there's just out. Like, he doesn't do much. He's, I feel like he's going to be in there looking to survive, and this is the wrong guy to go in there and look to survive against because he will get you because he's strong as an ox. He will he will get in on you because he's not you know, – Godoy's not fast. He's not fleet of foot. He's not hyper-athletic or anything like that. He can't, he can't keep him off of him. It's just a bad look. He, he's lost any aggression that he's had. If you go back and watch the Ryder fight, like I said, he was in and out. Now he's just, you know – off the back foot, standing at a distance, trying to jab. He's going to get taken apart in this fight. This is, you know, the guy's, like I said, he's been in tough, but this is a, an easy fight. I wish they were actually matching uh, Bizanian a little tougher, but they're not. So let's take a look at the book here. Let's show you, see how we can make some money on this fight. I, I think there's only one bet worth taking. You can take him on the money line. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take Eric Bizanian. By KO or stop. It's just a one times bet. It's minus 500. They're telling you he's going to stop him. I don't like the over under because I don't know how long it's going to If I was going to take the over under on four and a half, I'd probably take the over, but I'm not confident in either one of these. I, I don't love either one of these bets because, it, again, it's going to be how long is it? He's going to stop him. It's just how long does it take for him to stop him? You know, that, that's ultimately the bet. Uh, I, I'm not confident either way. So I'm just going to take Eric Bazanian by KO, TKO, DQ, by stop is in other words, or DQ. Minus 500, $100 bet makes you 20 bucks. So we're making 20 bucks on a $100 bet. Not bringing down the house on this one. Not robbing them blind here, but we're making money. This, I think this is fairly easy money. It's a pretty good lock. Take the 20 bucks. You know, take the take the one times bet. Take the minus 500 odds. Just take the money line. Uh, just Take the over. Uh, I'm flip, blah, 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 blah. take Bazania by the stoppage. Clean up on it and just go on to the next one. We're not making a ton of money on either fight in this card, but I, I think these are both pretty good bets. That uh, Bazania wins by, by KO, um, as well as, as the undercard uh, bet uh, with Steve Claggart. I would bet that too that Claggart wins by stoppage as well. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, where Boxing Bookie comes at you at, uh, for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We're going to be that second stream of income for you. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, and join us on Patreon. Patreon gets you the lock of the week, free T-shirt, all types of other perks as well. That's just $5 a month. So some love and support for 3D Boxing. Uh, keep us going. Keep us alive. Uh, it is... January 25th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.